I love the ripped photo idea. Thanks. I need a reason for a new school in black and gray to be together. So if I take a photograph and I tear it in half, it's the best way I can think of to work the challenge into the design. I think they specifically gave me this one because it's time consuming. The best part of today is knowing every single Ink Master's butthole is clenched. For this round, you must tattoo some of the most difficult parts of the body. Oh, shit. That sounds awful. Stomach, foot, armpits, knee ditch. Oh. All of these spots suck to get tattooed. They're really painful. This is going to be a huge challenge. Good day to be safe. You will have to rub it in. All right, what's happening? I'm on the phone with this one. Harm, how long you been tattooing? A little over 10 years. I started tattooing in Cuba. There is no tattoo shops. The police can just go to your house and, and take everything from you if they find out that you're tattooing. It was a struggle. I have a background in art, so that makes it a little bit easier, but it's definitely a hustle. The cheese, it's so cute. This tattoo, anybody in the room would like to tattoo. If I don't absolutely crush it, then I haven't done my job today. Today, you had to tattoo outrageous ideas in insanely difficult places. Safety from elimination is on the line. Angel, mm. you're up first. For it being such bright colors, so heavily packed, there's almost no irritation, and the inner thigh is a tough spot to get tattooed. That was one of the tattoos that I really struggled to see how someone could make that cool and you nailed it with this. It's obvious that you're here to play ball. Thank you. Looks like you're not tattooing tomorrow. F Hiram. It's a really well done tattoo. The contrast is so high. Like in that background, you have that heavy, heavy dark and then it goes right into that really bright turquoise blue and it's really beautiful. Thank you. Judges. Who had the best tattoo of the day? I personally like Angel's tattoo or Hiram. And what's funny is these are two full color tattoos by two black and gray artists. Yeah, crushed Talk it. Talk about versatility. Yeah. Can we agree that these are the best two tattoos of the day? 100%. Yeah. 100%, yes. Angel and Hiram, the judges have decided you are safe from elimination. That leaves six of us. Today, you must create a fine art tattoo. Oh, interesting. From cubism to impressionism to Renaissance oil paintings, these famous art styles have some of the most recognizable techniques in the world. That's all you, girl. The biggest challenge about this design is that I gotta make this thing huge. If I make it tiny, I'm not gonna be able to fit all these little details in there. You are killing it. Yes, you are killing it. Girl. What, thank I mean, you. You're amazing. Today, you had to prove your creativity tattooing in a fine art style. Gian, your canvas wanted an Aubrey Beardsley inspired Art Nouveau. Great artists know how to leave these little uncomfortable moments in paintings where at first glance you can look in the middle of his drawing and you can kind of be uncomfortable because it's empty. But then you look at it longer and you like it. The black, you really packed it in. Everything is super smooth. The saturation is where it needed to be. It's a great tattoo. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Judges. It's time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Gian showed us top quality of what can be done with line work on skin. Creativity-wise, Bob definitely pushed himself out of the envelope. They're both badass, but my vote is Gian. My vote is for Bob. Gian laid it out for himself where he gave himself absolutely nowhere to hide. And he did it, he nailed it. My vote is for Gian. We have two votes for Gian. One vote for Bob. Nico. I'm a color guy, but I have a hard time doing line work that crispy. My vote goes to Gian. Hey man, good job, man. Thank you, guys. Thank you. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Gian. Today, uh -huh. you must tattoo pinups. 
Oh. Oh. I am so ready for this. Yeah, y'all love it now, man. Historically, they don't do too good in this. Yeah. <laughs> Pinups in this competition are historically dangerous. There's a lot of really small details that you can up that are gonna send your ass home very quickly. Pinups alone are too easy for this all-star group of artists. I wouldn't say that. No, they're not. That is why this week you must tattoo pinups of animals. What? what the f are you kidding me? Okay, all right. Whoa! What is this? Whoa! From fur to spots, feathers to scales, hooves to tails, you must take all the details that make an animal recognizable and personify them in the iconic pinup style. God oh damn, my man. goodness. Ooh. Okay, 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 okay. Ow. This tattoo is to the brim of detail. It has patterned spots, straps, and like all the shit in it. Is that super painful right there? Mm-hmm. Sorry. I literally need to cram a 10-hour tattoo into five hours. I just need to shake out the pain. What'd you say? I need to shake out the pain. You're gonna hate me, but I gotta do like five lines real quick. My canvas is only set for three hours, and they are definitely feeling it right now. Today, you had to show your attention to detail by tattooing animal pinups. Let's see how you did. Bob. You're up first. This tattoo is so incredible, man. It's like laser printed. Not only anatomically is your illustration absolutely spectacular, but the use of textures like the latex top really looks shiny. I just want this giraffe to have social media so I can start following her. <laughs> there you go, man. Judges, it's time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. In terms of overall quality, I think there is truly one artist that really outer space raised the bar. My vote is for Bob. I have to agree with Ryan. That thing is sick. My vote is for Bob. Mommy, Bob. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Bob. Congratulations. Thank you. Ooh. You are safe from elimination. If you want to join the League of Winners, you must prove that you can match or even beat their skills. Damn. Wow. Shit, dude. For this elimination tattoo, each of the Ink Masters will pick a style. Oh. You must tattoo in one of the styles called by the Ink Masters. While you tattoo your canvas, the Ink Masters will also tattoo at the same time. Oh, head to head. Head to head. Wow. In Critique, your tattoo will be directly compared to the Ink Master's tattoo in the same style. No pressure. Crazy being back in the day, you know what I mean? Like, I know. Uh, it's a honor to tattoo just with you in the same room. I'm going for a leopard, man. It's a likable image. I'm going to keep it simple. Winning that $250,000 would be amazing. But going up against DJ and beating him at this style, Dude, that's priceless, man. Check out my competition here. Oh, man. That's a Steve Tap Tat. It is. It was this or kittens. I, I, was, I was going either way. Yeah, man. That's cool. Me picking Steve is 100% tactical. Nobody else in this competition has the balls to step up and do a freehand tattoo. So I'm taking Steve on just so I can show off. Badass piece, man. Yeah, thanks, dude. Appreciate it, man. Man, everybody's crushing it. That's how it's been, dude. Only good tattoos going home. You gotta beat a master to be a master. Anthony speaking illustrative style tattooing against somebody that is doing illustrative every single day of the week. And it's not every day that you get thrown something that you can do really good in your own style. This is a tattoo that has color theory and light source that is gonna blow away anything that anybody else creates. Wow, that's cool, dude. Some cyberpunk oni. And I don't wanna be cocky, I'm just, I'm just gonna slay. Let's peep this. Yeah. Ooh, that's clean, dude. 
I decided to go with traditional and go head to head with Tony. I'm going like very traditional with the palette. You, like, thank more, you, thank you. And it gives me the opportunity to go against Han, which I've been wanting to do. Today, you had to tattoo in one of the styles called by the Ink Masters. If you were able to beat or match the Ink Master, you are safe from elimination. Bob. This is a funky ass tattoo and it's really cool. The one thing that's always surprising is to see how you pack color and how solid it is and saturated. It's refreshing. It feels like a new style. It feels like something different, and it feels like Bob. Did Bob match the master? Yes, Bob did match the master. Man, I think you beat the master today. Yeah, Bob, I think you beat him. Congratulations, Bob. You matched an ink master, and you are safe from elimination. Thank you. Hey, Bob. Okay. Congrats, man. Katie, you're up. Okay. I love the butterflies. I love how you made the center of them, that little heart, and left the negative space right on top. You simplified it. You didn't put too many lines on that hair. You kept it exactly what it was supposed to be. Judges, did Katie match the master? Both tattoos are traditional. Both tattoos follow the rules. Katie did match the master. Katie absolutely matched Tony. Katie did match the master. Katie, you matched an ink master, and you are safe from elimination. Yes. Congrats. Thank you, Tony. Whoa! Thank Good you. Job. All right, Creepy Jason, let's see how you did. I like there's a delicateness to it. I love how you threw the web in the back. I think you smashed this, dude. Awesome. There's a lot of little intricate stuff, like in the eyes and in the eye sockets. Inside of the skull, you have all of the creepy, dirty, dingy web stuff. And then the body of the spider almost looks like it's that really thin exoskeleton sort of cocoon. Judges, did Creepy Jason match the master? Texture for texture, quality for quality. Creepy Jason definitely matched the master. Creepy Jason, I do think you matched the master. Jason matched the master. Ooh. Creepy Jason, you matched an ink master, and you are safe from elimination. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. That's a good job, Jason. All right, Gian, let's see how you did. You found the biggest dude on the yard, and you went after that dude. Yes, 100%. For me, DJ being one of my favorite artists of all time, going head to head, that was the way for me to just step out of my comfort zone. I think you nailed this tattoo. They're super clean. The shape of the tattoo, the details at the bottom, ripping through the mouth, the eyes, I like them all. Thank you. When you really zoom in on the whiskers, they are lined really nicely. That is so hard to do. Did Gian match the Ink Master? Two completely different takes on neo-traditional, but absolutely equal in terms of quality and integrity. Gian, you definitely match the master. Gian, match the master. You definitely match the Ink Master. Woo. Gian, you matched an Ink Master, and you are safe from elimination. All right, man. Thank you very much. Woo. Oh, man, thanks, bud. This week, you must create a landmark mashup tattoo that seamlessly blends new school with black and gray realism. Oh, oh wait, what? Oh my god. I honestly can't think of a better test of artistry than taking two opposing styles and flawlessly mashing them together into one cohesive landmark tattoo. This is a crazy challenge because we're mixing oil and water now, two things that we'll never mix. That's a bad idea, that's what that is. Every single one of the masters is shaking in their boots right now. I can't just stick a cartoon head on a realistic no, of body. Not. That's kind of confusing. They are not used to the twists and turns of this competition. A little more detailed than I thought. This is maybe the biggest, hardest challenge we've ever had. Good luck, boys. I love the ripped photo idea. Thanks. I need a reason for new school and black and gray to be together. So if I take a photograph and I tear it in half, it's the best way I can think of to work the challenge into the design. I think they specifically gave me this one because it's time consuming. The best part of today is knowing every single Ink Master's butthole is clenched. Today, you had to show your artistry by seamlessly blending new school and black and gray realism into one landmark tattoo. 
based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Angel, you had Machu Picchu. I thought you were <laughs> Your challenge was an entire city. That black and gray section, it looks like a grainy old photograph. And then we get to the new school part of it. You are not a new school artist, but this tattoo would make me believe otherwise. <laughs> You actually created some atmospheric perspective, like distance between the llama and the back mountains. And I think that makes a powerful, realistic piece. Thank you, thank you. Killed it. It's time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. I feel like every single part of Angel's tattoo is my favorite part. Yeah. There's not a single area I can look at that doesn't make me feel like this woman has got some skills. This one met the challenge at 100%. You nailed the challenge and you did a beautiful tattoo. I agree that Angel has the best tattoo of the day. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Angel. Thank you. Congratulations, Angel. You are safe from elimination. This week, you must tattoo a black and gray bug on the throat. Oh. All the way up to the underside of the chin. Oh. oh. Holy oh. shit. Damn. Throats are so difficult. If you have minimal workspace, you got the chin that's involved. It's very delicate skin. It's very painful. I have my throat tattooed, and it was awful. Today, you had to show contrast tattooing a black and gray bug on your canvas's throat. You were being tested on Ryan's specialty. Let's see how you did. Gian. Oh, all right. You made a beetle look beautiful. I love how you used all the dark leaves around it to frame it up. You were able to take every single little piece of the face, separate it, and use a different tone of gray that worked together. It's little circles that you put on the bottom shelf is really, really cool to create that contrast to the center of it. I think this tattoo is badass. Thank you. It's time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Bob's tattoo was the most unique. Yeah, I agree with that. We can't forget Gian's. It's hard to dispute technical or artistic vision in Gian's. Tony's really shine today. Tony's is downright sexy. My vote is for Tony. Gian pulled off an incredible tattoo in his style, and it's hard to debate it. My vote is for Gian. What's selling me on Gian's tattoo is there's so much design in this tattoo that the side looks amazing, and it has to look good from every angle. My vote is for Gian. I mean, my vote is for Gian. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Gian. Thank you. Congratulations, you are safe from elimination. For this elimination tattoo, you must create Japanese tattoos. Oh. oh. To really master Japanese, it takes an entire career. For us to master Japanese within one challenge, it's impossible. Wow. Well-composed Japanese tattoos are jam-packed with symbolism and follow a strict set of rules. Very strict. There's so much history. They're the first ones to use color. They're the first ones to do outlines. They were hand poked, so things were simplistic. Make sure the rules are applied because the minute you don't follow the rules, it is no longer a Japanese tattoo. Damn. Oh, the anxiety. We didn't go like Ooh, demon lady. Oh, beautiful. This is like my favorite shit to do ever. I wish I could do this stuff all day and I don't get to at home. Competition's hard here. Yeah, they've been firing. Me and the masters, we have an alliance. We really need to keep this thing tight, work together. We're starting to know each and every one of these artists. We know their strengths, weaknesses. We gotta separate Bob and Angel and we really gotta knock Gian right off the top. Today, you had to execute perfectly composed Japanese tattoos. Before we critique your work, Ruby, I want to officially welcome you to the Ink Master Shop. Thank you for having me, guys. All right, let's see how you did. DJ. You chose such a beautiful pattern on the kimono. That black pops so much in balance to the hair. It evokes emotion. She has thoughts and feelings and intentions. And if it's about where you're putting it in composition, I mean, you've killed it because it's so flattering on every angle of the arm. It's a work of art. 
since you have entered this competition, I have been waiting for your moment to shine, and this is it. Thank you, guys. It's time to decide the tattoo of the day. I'm pretty sure that I know exactly who won tattoo of the day. My man, DJ, all the way. Man. There's not one thing that I would change about it, and for that reason, I'm gonna vote for you. Is that what you say on the show? I vote for you? Vote for DJ. You're going to Hollywood. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. Like, no, Whatever, it's great. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. You're a fantastic singer, and I love your dancing. My vote is for DJ. My vote is for DJ. My vote is for DJ. Clean sweep. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to DJ. I'm stoked. Congratulations. You are safe from elimination. Thank you, guys. Today, you must tattoo color portraits. Oh, shit. There it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, yeah. That's right. We are testing precision with Nico style, color realism. Here we go. Every little facial detail must be precisely and perfectly rendered with solid saturation and smooth color blends. Or your canvas will be left with an unrecognizable mess. Oh, no, you're sweating. I am so I don't do color portraits. I don't do realism. I don't do color realism. I don't have a background in it. I don't take these kind of tattoos on at home. Like, it's just not my style. With precision and portraits, it's about simplicity and just making a clean portrait that's readable. Think about the structure of the face, think about the light source, and be precise in the details where you want to put them. With a color portrait, there's what you did and there's the portrait, and they're always gonna be side by side. And what if you don't hit resemblance? It's disrespectful to that person who just got that tattoo and trusted you to capture their loved one's memory forever on their skin. I've done zero. I'm super pumped on this one. So I'm just kind of getting stuff blocked in right now. Mm -hmm. When portraits hit a point when you can breathe, you're like, ah, all right, yeah. that's grandma's face, and then yeah. you can just make it cool as shit. I picked this vintage photo of this awesome grandma with orange hair and these big silly glasses. This picture just has a vibe. It's something unique, and that's what I love. What got you into tattooing? I've been doing art since I can remember. I applied at a shop when I was like 17 years old. I wasn't even legally old enough to get a tattoo, and the rest is history. The moment I found tattooing, it changed my whole life. I love creating art for people and really changing other people's lives. It's been a wild ride. Three, two, one. That's it, time's up, no more ink. Oh my god, okay. It's perfect, yeah, it's so good. Yeah, yeah good. thank you yeah, so yeah, yeah. much. <laughs> Today, you had to tattoo color portraits. Let's see how you did. DJ. What's going on, guys? DJ, this tattoo, it is another level. You perfectly rendered glasses, a ribbed turtleneck, a scarf. You captured the essence of this woman. I really, really love the hair. You could still see the eyes through the glasses underneath this filter, and somehow, you captured it. The scarf is a really nice frame for that face. To me, this tattoo is badass. You killed it. Thank you, guys. Judges, it's time to determine the best tattoo of the day. There was one tattoo that absolutely exceeded every expectation I had. DJ's precision on point. He went so far above and beyond and showed us transparency. He showed us shine in the glasses. He rendered a plaid scarf. This tattoo tells such a great story. My vote's for DJ, best tattoo of the day. My vote is for DJ. DJ, you crushed it. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to DJ. Thank you guys so much. Congratulations, DJ. You are safe from elimination warms my heart. Today, you must create a single session, 12 hour tattoo on the leg. Oh, 12 hours. Oh my God. I'm sitting. Oh my God. 12 hours? Bring it on, let's do it. Generally, I am a large scale artist, which means I do very long sessions on a daily basis, which means I might have an advantage going into this round. The more time you give me, the more I can show off. Your leg tattoos must speak for themselves because we will be judging them completely blind. What? Oh, 
that's cool. Nobody's gonna know. The judges will critique and rank each tattoo without knowing which artist created which. I love blind judging because it's it's no bullshit. None of us can talk our way out of anything. Well, I can't sell this one. You wanna roll back onto your back? Almost done with the line. Cool. What I'm tattooing here is a futakuchi ona, which is a Japanese yokai. It is a woman with two mouths. It's a part of Japanese lore and legends. That thing's insane. Is that this thing? <laughs> I think of myself as a tattooer that is putting myself in the shoes of a tattooer from that time and thinking about the art that they were looking at and not somebody that is tattooing in a Japanese style. And that's a huge risk to take. It's like, damn, it's going back faster than I thought it was. A good thing. I, mean, I knew it was gonna go by quick, but going by really quick. Twelve hours on the leg. The artists picked skulls to determine which style they had to tattoo, but the subject matter was up to them. The top-ranked tattoo earns an automatic spot in the top four. That's a huge advantage. Huge advantage. We're critiquing blind. We don't know whose tattoo is whose. And we're ranking them individually, and we won't know each other's scores. Let's take a look at the first tattoo. All right, here we go. That's me. It looks like a Japanese woodblock print. It's got such great composition, the way it's drawn, and how it starts small on the bottom. And let's not forget the front of the thigh where the mirror is to reflect the geisha girl that's actually talking at the back of your neck. It's sick, right? Every part of this tells a story. Dude, I love the saturation of the ink, like how solid that task is. Huge, dude, it's huge. Really original, really fresh. Pick the right colors, lay it out on the body well. Great design. I'm dying to know who did this tattoo. <laughs> it is so Good. weird wow. in the best way. This is one of the most refreshing designs I've seen, not only in this competition, but in the industry. Whoa! Yeah. Bro. It was a good critique, Bob. Uh, yeah, that was, was a lot a good of work. Critique. It was a lot of tattooing. It looks like it, man, but it paid off. Yeah. Based only on your work, each of your tattoos has been ranked by the judges. It's time to find out who is the first artist to secure their spot in the top four. Please reveal the highest ranked tattoo. <sighs> who tattooed this? That was me. Knew it. Knew I it. knew it. Bob, congratulations. Thank you. This is as close to a 10 as you can get. You destroyed this tattoo. Thank you. Based on the judges' rankings, the best tattoo of the day goes to Bob. Thank you. Creepy Jason, your fight to the finish is far from over. Here we go. You've shown us what you can do in 12 hours. Now it's time to show us what you can do in one. Oh. Not. Oh my God. Did they just say one hour? What, like 100 hours? Or is there anything, any numbers after the one? Because one by itself sounds ridiculous at this point in the competition. To be an ink master, you must be able to prove your skills on the biggest tattoos and the smallest. <sighs> Dude, there's no joke right now. To earn your spot in the top four and avoid elimination, you must survive a tattoo marathon with four 60-minute tattoos. Oh, my God. I learned how to tattoo in a street shop, so knowing how to like bang out tattoos quickly and efficiently is the name of the game. You have 60 minutes to tattoo Angel's design, and your time starts now. You going all color on all these? Uh, yeah, man. I was hoping Angel was going to be the one to like throw a black and gray tattoo in here, but it's a color tattoo all day, dude. That's dope. Artist, time for the second design, Gian's design. You have 60 minutes and your time starts now. That's cool, man. I may start doing more traditional tattoos with like that color palette. That looks cool as shit. Two tattoos down, two more to go. A spot in the top four is on the line. Whew. It is time to tattoo Creepy Jason's design. Of the four of us doing my new school lab rat, I'm the only new school tattooer here. New school tattoos can have backgrounds in them, and I do this shit very quickly, so I have the luxury of putting one in there. I'm gonna 
kill this one, and everybody's gonna know it. It is time for the last tattoo. DJ's design. Last one. You have 60 minutes, and your time starts now. This is it, man. We're down to the wire. You gonna be able to finish, man? I gotta do that rope. We had a tattoo marathon. The artists each got to design a 60-minute tattoo. They had to tattoo their design, and then they had to tattoo each other's design. Balls to the wall, dude. We're gonna be ranking these tattoos completely blind. The tattoos with the highest scores win. Let's get into the first design. All right, here we go. We have the eyeball flower. Oh, that's mine. Would've been fun to tattoo that. And let's start with number one. Oh, that's mine. That thing looks even better now than it did when I did it. I like the color choices. The little drop of yellow in that sparkle. I love on that bottom squiggle how they went in and actually made all of those bumps look sort of bulbous with that darker red. I'm pretty impressed by it. Let's take a look at all four of them together. Number one is my favorite interpretation. Yeah, of it. I think it's a great tattoo, number one. They're all so cool. They are cool. I'm so stressed right now, guys. All right, let's take a look at the next design. Hey, that's mine, man. The blue panther, which I really love. They did the gold grill. Not only is this thing fully saturated, they took time to blend that bright blue into that super soft aqua. This, to me, looks like it could have taken somebody three hours to tattoo. Any guesses on who did what? Man, I can't tell you, yeah, This, this whole thing idea. threw me in the loop. Let's see the next design. The rat fink. Rats. It has so much personality. Well, let's get into number one. Look at all of the precision put into the little cut on the forehead. The way they actually made it look mm -hmm. embossed. Every single piece of this thing is tricked out. That's my favorite tattoo I've done this whole competition. This is so hard for me to even guess these. Judges, we're about to look at the last design. Remember, there are four artists here. There are only three spots left in the top four. So these rankings are everything. We don't know who tattooed what, but we do know that one person is going home after this. Let's take a look at the last design. This is a very common mask. It's simple, but everything's gotta be super tight. Did you notice the cutout on the left-hand side and the cutout on the bottom right? Mm -hmm. They left the strings up for the interpretation of whatever mm -hmm. artist was doing yeah. it. Well, let's start with number one. That's it, that's my Tengu. The ropes are cool. They're flowy, they have movement, they have some personality to them. I don't like how it's shaded. It just does not seem clean. All right, judges, let's lock in our final rankings. I can't wait to not look at these tattoos anymore. <laughs> these rankings are gonna be tallied. The person who ends up on the bottom is going home. Artists, head up to the shop. All of the tattoos have been ranked by the judges. Based on the rankings, it's time to reveal the winner of the tattoo marathon. Those are mine. Unreal, dude. Yeah, crushed it. You <laughs> crushed it. Thank you. Jason, when you're pushed up against a wall, man, you really perform. I just handle little bangers easy. This shit's a like a day at work for me. You went from being in the bottom two on the 12 hour to being first on the one hour. Yeah. Congratulations, Creepy Jason. You've earned your spot in the top four. Thank you. Each of you will be assigned a master canvas. Okay. You will have a total of 24 hours to tattoo a back piece. Woo! Yes. In two back-to-back 12-hour -back sessions. Damn. 12 hours of tattooing on day one and 12 hours of tattooing on day two. That, that's a big deal, though. This is the most back-to-back -back tattooing oh. ever tackled in this competition. Your master canvases are completely open. Excellent. You can tattoo anything you want. Yes. And any style you want. Yeah. Oh, anything? Oh, That's pretty oh, wild. We want to see legendary tattoos. You are competing for the biggest grand prize in Ink Master history. Now is the time to pull out all the stops and blow us away. Good luck. Into the end. Oh. You excited? I'm pumped, man. I can't wait for this. I haven't got a chance to show myself in this competition, so I want to think as far outside the box as possible. I came up with something cool and oh, new yeah. and innovative. And... For my design, I'm pouring my head onto this paper, literally. 
Bro, that's so dope, man. We'll keep this dude almost realistic. Yeah. Just black and gray, almost like when a movie meets color. And then these cartoon hands are like lifting the top of his head off. And then inside his head is just this like wonderland. You know, it's going to be different than I like it. anybody like has it. anywhere. I'm super pumped, so. This is the worst part of the back. Just so you know. Just taking in the whole process, bro, that's it. Having won twice is absurd. And now to try to do it for a third time, I have a huge title to defend. Three, two, one. We done. That completes your first 12-hour session for your 24-hour back piece. That's long. This is your second 12-hour session for your 24-hour back piece. And your time starts now. All right, let's get it, dude. Bet you missed that sound, didn't you? Leave it all here, buddy. Yeah. I'm stoked to show the world what it is that you want to show them. I want to show them that win this against a bunch of amazing artists. If I can pull this off, it's going to be completely different against every tattoo that has been done in 14 seasons of this competition. There's no way I'm not taking this home. Each of you were assigned a master canvas and had to create a 24-hour back piece. You were able to tattoo anything you wanted in any style in two grueling back-to-back 12-hour -back sessions. Toughest day of my life. That was rough. <sighs> DJ, tell us about your back piece. I had almost an epiphany. Something inside me that forced me to just go and do me. I've been through more trauma in my life than a lot of people. And I feel like I'm constantly having to like put on this happy face when I really just want to scream. With this piece, I just wanted to see what I could create out of my mind and just go for it. I can feel all that in your work. I was like, is that just DJ as he sees himself somewhere down the road where he's just completely gone mad with these crazy ideas in his head that he's got to get out? It definitely says that to me in like a really beautiful way. The thing about you is you're capable of doing it all. It's genius to see you take this really dark image and not make it so dark by taking these flat, colorful images next to all this detail. And it just plays with your mind and your eyes and you're like, how the f do you even come up with this shit? It comes from the soul. I love the colors. I love that pink character. I love the green character. But I really wish you would have finished up just that one side of the tattoo. When I drew it, I had this idea for a weird, different movement. Does it have to be this square back? And that's the chance I was taking. I am so thankful when given the opportunity to do something that you wanted to do, you did it. It is now time to determine the winner. It's kind of hard because you have two amazing pieces of art. One's really creative and thought outside the box, and then one straightforward tattoo. God, this is a hard one. This is the worst, actually. I would rather be eliminated. Let's look at DJs. It's beautiful, I mean, dude. The most creative. But it's not only the most creative, it shows every skill set we've tested them on this entire season. Saturation, line work, black and gray realism, illustration. But you have to admit, there's something about it that doesn't look finished. I'm just missing 15% of your tattoo as a back piece. I can, I can fit a symmetrical, simple, centered back piece. This is not about symmetry. When I look at it, my eyes go directly to the rainbow. That's the plan. But dude, it doesn't draw my eye around. I don't drop to the heaviness of the face. I've worked my ass off. I tried to create something that had multiple styles for you guys. And I think just being vulnerable and trying to do something different and creative in this competition is needed. It's fresh, it's new. When two tattoos are fundamentally equal, it comes down to what this competition is truly about, being the most versatile, my vote is for DJ. Nico, I have to go with what's complete. But my vote is for Gion. Ami. A back piece to me is always going to take advantage of every single inch of that back. My vote goes to Gion. We have two votes for Gion, one vote for DJ. That leaves me. 
I agree with you guys. Gian's is this big, complete, beautiful back piece with a couple of mistakes. But DJ's, even with the left side not complete, I still like that tattoo. I'm at a loss. God damn. Just do what's in your heart, bro. My vote is for DJ. When I look at these tattoos, I can't stop looking at DJs. And I feel like if I had voted against that, I would regret it. We have two votes for DJ, two votes for Gian. We have a tie. Well, this is a first. Yeah, this is a first. The judges are at a deadlock. In the event of a tie, the judges determine how to break it. Eliminated artist, the four of you are going to cast a vote to break the tie. Damn. We're going to go in the order you were eliminated. Anthony, <sighs> what's your vote? My vote is for DJ. Angel. My vote is for Gion. That's one vote for Gian and one vote for DJ. It's tied up, dude. Creepy Jason. It's too late to vote for me, right? That's not gonna happen. Okay. Gian, your tat's dope, dude, but when you're gonna rely on symmetry and you miss part of your tattoo, that's a huge mistake to me. Like, I can't forgive that. Gotta vote for DJ. That's two votes for DJ, one vote for Gian. It's all on me now. Bob, what's your vote? An ink master should be somebody that can do all the styles and be able to change what they normally would always want to do and flip it on the dime. That's what I came out here to do. DJ is a powerhouse of all these different styles. I can see that in his tattoo the most. So I'm sorry, Gian, my vote is gonna have to be for DJ. That's three votes for DJ, one vote for Gian. DJ, you do have what it takes oh to be Ink Master. God, dude. Oh my God. Damn. Are you kidding me? Number three. Oh. Congrats, bro. I appreciate you. This is one more chapter in my life, one more struggle that I made it through. This is real. And this is just another achievement that I nailed to the floor. I'm holding on to this title forever. I know. I know, bro. Listen, I, I know how it is. I know how it is. Nothing personal. And this proves that you need to know everything to be an ink master. <laughs> to the ink master and to an incredible season, an incredible competition for you all. DJ, congratulations. Thanks, Joel. Everybody, cheers. Salud, everybody. Salud. 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 Salud.